hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so get notified anytime i upload a new video in this story i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer without any further ado let's get started so the first thing now you go to your file then you select new or you press ctrl plus n to get it then i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 pixels as you can see then i will leave the resolution at 300 and the background then i will leave it at white then you click on grid so the first thing now i'm going to copy the color code i'm going to use then ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color then ctrl plus v to paste okay now the next thing i'm going to create a layer over here then you can see then after grating this layer then you select your brush or you press b on your keyboard then i'm going to increase it using this bracket okay something like this then make sure that over here your full color background is white then i will then click on it then it will give me this as you can see all right so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to my blending mode and i'm i'm going to use color dodge okay so after that then go to your resource file and over here is the resource i'm going to use in this tutorial so the first one i'm going to import this one then i will position it over here okay then go to your bloody mode and change the bloody mode to soft light like this all right then and the opacity you reduce the opacity to 70 percent then apply a layer mask then select your gradient tool or you select your brush anyone then i'm going to reduce the size of the brush and now we clean over here so this is the area i will leave for now okay so having selected this part so the next one now then i'm going back to my resource file and then i will import this one And now we scale it out okay then on this one you go back to your blending mode and uh, make use of multiply then apply your layer mask select your brush then i will clean over here also here I'm going to erase this part then blend it again sorry you see why it's not applying because this place is white so I'm going to change it to black and white so then apply black color over here then you click on it okay now then you can apply your blending now okay so we are done with this one now so the next thing now then we are going back to import the other worship image then i will drag this one up and position it here then on the blending mode we are going to make use of overlay okay 
then the next one now then is the brush we are going to put place a brush at the bottom here and over here is the brush i'm using then you position it over there okay so the next thing now then is to start with our test then and here are the tests i'm going to use in this tutorial so the first one now then you copy this one Control plus c to copy then select your test tool over here then you click and paste it okay now so we are going to reduce the size all right then ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize the test ctrl plus d to deselect all right then i'm going to multi uh, duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate or when you drag it when you click and drag it down to this position this layer then it will duplicate automatically all right so now select it all then come to your test and uh, copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then increase the crater spacing then ctrl plus a to select all apply vertical alignment to centralize it then ctrl plus d to deselect then i'm going to apply a drop shadow on it so now then as you can see this is the effect i'm going to use the drop shadow so this is the setting so you take note of that then i'll click ok then on this test now then i'm going to change the font to, to a vertical regular to a vertical regular all right then the next one now then we go back to our test and make a copy of this then select your test tool then close the crater spacing by 0% then ctrl plus v to paste then make use of a vertical insert for the fonts then on this one i'm going to minus the crater spacing by 60% Then increase the font size. Alright. So. Then if there is any need. We are going to increase it. Again. Then we come over here. To make a copy of this one. Then, but before then, then I'm going to select my test tool, then type X like this, and the font I'm going to use is Good Feeling Script. Then go to your test, I mean to your font, and I'm going to look for the font. something like this all right so after this one now so the next thing now then i'm going to select my test tool once again then ctrl plus v to paste
select Helvetica font. Now increase the font size. Alright. Then I'll take this one back and drag this one. Something like this. Okay, then the next thing then I'm going to apply a gradient color on this one. Then go to your effect here, then and select a gradient overlay. Then go to your test document, and over here is the code. The control plus V to paste. Why are we deleting these ones? Then on this one, go back and make a copy of this. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. So then you will have this. Then go to your drop shadow. Then over here, I'm going to change it to 4. And this one I'm going to make it 7 and the last one I'm going to make it 9 then your blending mode should be multiplying and the opacity then reduce it to 94 okay then you click okay then I'm going to apply the same shadow on this one Click OK. Then hold your Alt key and drag the effect to this place. You release your hand. So that is to copy it. Now there is something I'm going to do. Then select your rent angle. Then you come over here. Then you draw a rent angle at the top here. Then I will apply this red color over there. So this is the outcome of it. Okay, so having done this one now, so the next thing now, then import your image. So this is the image, then I will import it. Then reduce the size of the image. Alright, then apply your layer mask and select your gradient tool. Then also remember that this place is black and white and blend the bottom here. So the next thing now, then go to your image, then you select brightness, then you bright the image. So okay like this and the constructs all right then you click ok so there is something i'm going to do now then for those of you that are asking on how to make use of um two two pass labs so but today we are not going to do the full tutorial then maybe next then we are going to then make a full tutorial on how to do it so that i'll show you some of the effects i use in two packs all right so this one now then i'm going to make use of um detail to pass details okay so we are here now so as you can see so this is two packs labs so on this one now then you'll look for what you want to make use of so anyone you click here now then you will see the effect of of it and over here this is the area you can adjust the settings as you can see there okay 
so now then what i'm going to select here is this this interior strong detail so that is what i'm going to make use of over here so after you select this one then you can come to this place then you adjust it the way you want it to be you see so you adjust it then you reduce and adjust so that is how you will continue to apply the effect you want until you get your own desired choice then you now click ok all right so as you can see now so when i click on it now then you will see the effect so when you're done then you click on ok here yeah. you can also save a preset so when you great great it like this so when you know that okay this is okay and you like it you want to make use of it in the nearest time so then you can save it over here then you write the name you want to identify it over there then and you click okay all right so like the one i make use of then i have a preset here so you can see i have a preset here and as you can see over here so this is the adjustment of this preset which you are seeing here right so i'm going to make use of it and i'll click ok then this is the effect of it okay now i'm going to to um flip it horizontal this way position it over then So as you can see the outcome now, so there is it. Then my test, I'm going to, to select this test over here. I will group it, then increase the size. something like this then ctrl plus a to select or then apply center alignment you can see the way it move then ctrl plus d why i press ctrl plus d you can see a line a white line at at the edges here when you press ctrl plus d then it will disappear so that is to deselect the line all right so having done this one also the next one now then we are going to make a copy of this test here then select your test tool and change the color to red then ctrl plus v to paste then i will change the font to tuesday night then something like this then you can now move it now position it over here then go back to my test then make a copy of the name here ctrl plus c to copy go to your font and change the font color to black ctrl plus v to paste and change the font to a vertical reduce the font size and i will make a change then go to your setting here then i reduce the character spacing by zero percent then you have this then also i'm going to change the font to the helvetica regular something like this So I see this is not good enough. Then this is regular. Okay. All right. So after this one, now the next thing 
then make a copy of this control plus c to copy then go to your resource documents and uh, import this icon for date reduce the size then make a position then select a rectangle like this change the color to red select your test tool then change the font color to white then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font back to a vertical board then select the two tests the test and the rent angle then you apply horizontal alignment and vertical alignment then the next thing then import this icon for the time and reduce the size position it here reduce the size then create another rent angle like this and apply red color then make sure that you turn off the link then over here i'm going to make use of 34 by by 34 okay so having done it this way bring this one closer then make a copy make a copy of this select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste Then highlight this one and go to your font size. You reduce reduce this one. Then you can increase the size of this one. You will have something like this. So what I will do now, then I'm going to group it together. Ctrl plus G or when you select it then you click here this is for group then Ctrl plus A to select it all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then Ctrl plus D to deselect then here is what you will get so the next thing now we are going to do then is to import this one reduce the size go back to your test and make a copy of this one then select your test tool change the font to black then ctrl plus v to paste reduce the font size like this something like this then click here to group it then i will select the two now i will increase the size then this is what you will have so now that we are done with the inputting of test so what we are going to do next is then bringing this one 
then I will position this one over here reduce the size then I'll position it here then go to your bloody mode and make it change it to screen reduce the size like this it's okay like this all right then reposition it so after this one now so i'm going to duplicate it by dragging it here and reduce the size reduce the size position it over there then now i'm going to make a duplicate of it again and i will position it here then reduce the size then duplicate it again and i will position this one over here then i will make a duplicate of it and i will position this one around here so then the last one is this one then i'll position it over there then change it to screen something like this reduce it a little all right so now apply a layer mask select your brush or you press b or you come over here then you click on it then i'm going to clean around it all right so this is the outcome all right so for now we are done with the tutorial thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe then like it and share it so that other will also then get the experience and also don't forget if you need any of my flyer then you can go to my fiverr account the link is in the description below then you can order any of your flyer also if you want to create a fiverr account then also there is a link there that we enable you to greet your Fiverr account. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate you guys. Then my next tutorial, let me know under the comment section because I'm going to go through the comment sections. Which flyer do you want me to greet in my next or which tutorial do you want me to come up in my next tutorial and I'm going to reply you. Thank you so much guys.